Hi, in this video of Bootstrap, we will work with the input groups. Basically, when we create a form, we use multiple controls altogether. But if suppose there is a span tag or a label along with a text box and a button for a single task, we can actually group them all as a single unit using the input groups. And we can then design them at a single unit as a single unit itself. So let's start working with the input groups in Bootstrap now. So here, when we are implementing input group, basically the implementation will be similar to that of BTN group. Just a difference will be like in BTN groups, we were only taking buttons inside it. But in the input group, we can take various controls. Like here, I have designed a form inside which there is a, there are a couple of controls that I like one is a span and another one is a text box so if i want i can just bind them all in an input group class using this div similarly here i have again taken the text and i have added that inside the span where i have again put some text all right and similarly here i have used a couple of span along with the text box so these are the things like whenever you want in a form like you can you want to group multiple different controls you can use the input input group at that particular time so nothing but it will be looking like this all right so this is the other symbol which i brought from the span and then there is a twitter handle similarly if you want to put any amount you can just use this dollar symbol in the prefix and here it is in post fix all right since I have used the class called form control, that's why it is occupying the complete width. You can remove and you can design the size of the text box as per the requirement. So as we know, like bootstrap is basically used for the responsive design for the different size of screens. All right. So if in case it is required, I can just modify the size of these groups as well using the various classes. Like here, you can see the first one I am using it for the large screen so it is LG the last one is for the small size that's why there is SM but here I am just keeping it as it was so let's execute it again so here you can clearly see the difference like first one is for the large screen the normal screen and for the small screen so this is how you can just group multiple classes of input group for the from combining the different controls and for defining the different screen sizes.